today we're going to look at look, mounting a medal in a box frame. The medal we're using is a standard World War II UK medal uh, with a ribbon. So it's a, it's a quick and, and simple way of mounting um, the medal um, that uses no adhesives. Okay, so we're using a f one of my standard 7x5 frames. This gives, uh, so we've got a 1 inch mount which gives us 3x5 display area in, inside. Okay, so first thing to do is to, to whip the mount the back off to get to get at the mount. Flexi tabs a bit stiff. Oh, right. we'll just count the back. Some instructions that we don't need, some sticky pads we don't need. Whip out the inside back. Right, so that's the piece of kit we need. Put the frame to one side and off we go. So first thing I'm gonna do is, is line up the metal on the on the back and mark where we want the metal to pass through, the ribbon to pass through, uh, and we're going to cut a slot to pass that through the, the backing board. Okay, so I'm going to centre our last centralise it. Let's take a few moments to do that. Two and a half. That is in the middle. Right, so that's where we want it to sit. First thing to do is to mark where we're going to put the slot. I'm going to put the slot at the top of the ribbon, so I'm marking the end of the ribbon, the edge of the ribbon at both sides. Okay, and the top. Okay. So I don't know you can see that, I've just marked the top corners of the ribbon. So what we're going to do so draw a line across there. Using the lines on the, the cutting mat to make sure I'm actually cutting it straight by drawing it straight. Okay. Now we need to create a bit of a flap. So the next thing to do is just to project the corners down a little bit. And what I like to do is find the middle of the the bottom of the card, uh, which is a five inch card, obviously so that's two and a half inches there, and just from each corner draw a line, just about inch and a half long. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut that flap. Now we need to cut it so that it will push out to the back. So we're going to have to cut it at a slight bevel um, to enable it to push through. So this needs to be done very carefully. Um, you need a sharp knife, a very sharp knife, okay, a new, with a new blade ideally. Um, and a nice straight rule. Now you have to be careful with this because you can quite easily cut the ends of your fingers off if you're not careful. Right, so I'm cutting the bevel away from the um, towards the edge of the back. So now I have to do this accurately, so you, you, you can't do it in one cut, you have to do several cuts. So, um, slight angle, I'm going to just drag it across, trying to be very accurate, and I'll take two or three bites at it. Okay, this top cut has to be clean, because it is the important one to make sure you don't go past the edge of your mark. Oops, this, this isn't an ideal knife to be honest. You're better off with a Stanley knife or similar. Okay, that'll do for the time being. I'm cutting right through, so we've, we've cut right through that there. Okay, 
Now we need to cut the other pieces in a similar manner. Right, now that should just push out, which it does. And as long as we've got a nice clean top edge, that's all we need to worry about. So I'll remove the uh, remove the our markings. Now that we're going to pass the we're going to pass the um, ribbon through and trap it behind the flap. But with the flap being tight, we now need to just nip a, a little bit off the top of the flap so we can trap the the material. And with this, we only need about well less than a millimeter really. You can imagine the thickness of the of the material uh, of the ribbon. So I'm just using a, a spare piece of card to cut into, and then I've just cut. As you can see, I've just cut a millimeters off off the flap there. Okay, so that leaves us a little bit of a gap. Okay, now it's just a, a simple matter of passing the ribbon through. And bring it down to where you pre-crease the ribbon. Okay. Lining your metal up to where you want it, roughly, and then just pushing the flap until it's back into position at the back. And we need. I'm going to use a little bit of solitaire, but what we need to do is ensure that that flap is flat against the back so that it does actually trap the. So push it and put a little bit of tape on it. Right, and there we are. That will hang in there quite happily, and we haven't fixed it at all other than trapped it in a flap which we can peel off and pop, uh, take out and use. So what we'll do now is we'll pop it back in the frame and put the back back on. There you have your framed metal. A very quick and easy method of, of popping the metal in a box frame.